is this beautiful oh <laughs> she doesn't want to be introduced to you guys Assalamu alaikum, hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Achola and today on Achola's Closet, I am going to show you guys my handbags collection. In case you know, I have been so excited. Honestly, I've been excited for a long time about this video and so today I just thought why don't we do that and share with you guys all of my little uh, finds and whatnot that I have in my closet. Now, as you may or may not already know, I am not a luxury handbag collector. I still cannot bring myself into paying $1,500, $2,000 on a handbag. I just, I can't. I, I still don't see, you know, the logic in that. Maybe in the future it might change. And um, I heard a lot of people buy them for investment purposes, but um, you know, I still, I, I just, I don't see that. <laughs> um, but with that being said, let's just dive right into my handbags collection. Now, here's the thing. Back in high school, I used to be a big fan of big handbags, like extremely, almost like your carry-on handbag size oh yes i used to carry one of those bags back when i was in high school i've always hated backpacks and um so i i honestly avoided backpacks for the longest time in my life and um you know but the faces have changed so i went from a big handbag kind of girl to a super just tiny you know handbags now and um first oh. all right my shiny little clutch and i picked it up from a vendor at marlboro mall just right next to uh, freedom mobile super nice a gentleman there um but this one here i just love i love the mixture of the silver and gold and the rhinestones my i know the little clutch here now this one is from call it spring baby is old i know she's old um but i still love her the reasons i well one of the reasons i love this is the handle right i love the handles second thing is definitely the skull right here because i am obsessed with skulls i'm not even joking all the box handbag right here i honestly cannot tell you how much i love this i just love the mixture of the sequined with the leather and of course <laughs> and of course the gold finishing details on this bag one of my absolute favorites and that is the boom box now this one you probably seen her in everything i ever bought from aldo video and um i honestly just love this handbag again silver gold with the black i just i love the mixture of that i think it's genius um aldo as well and um i honestly cannot tell you how much i love those box like <laughs> those box handbags i think they are fabulous now this one here i just love the color comes with a crossbody strap as well that you can add right here and um now this one here of course every time i take her out people always ask where i got her from she is from college spring and um you will definitely see her in everything i ever bought from college spring as well i just love the little details on this the little camera well it's it's a mirror i love the mirror and this one here is actually see-through so when you hold it like this you can see straight from the back to the front so you can pretend you're taking pictures if you like um but it is just a fun little clutch next up is going to be this little 
fringe detail handbag fringes i am in love i love anything that has fringe on it and um of course she comes with a shoulder strap that i don't use a lot because it always comes off so we just carry her as a clutch up is going to be my bcbg max azria transparent clutch here now this one i bought it back in 20 13 maybe 2014 and um you know before transparent was all a trend and um i honestly i had this phase where i just enjoy showing whatever it is i'm carrying in my handbag and so when i sh when i saw this one i just fell in love and i knew i had to get her so then i always have to make sure she looks pretty but you know, on the days when I had to carry, let's say, my feminine hygiene products, you've got a little side pocket. Another BCBG Max Azria is this, you know, croc print envelope clutch. Now, this one here was gifted to me by my friend and mama, Lorena. Um, she does thrift shopping you guys can find her on instagram at thrift sanity i'll just put it right here so you guys can check out her stuff i think this is perfect because it can easily take you from the office right easily from the office to a night out to a party it doesn't matter what the event is you can absolutely make this one work it's my lasha toe satin clutch right here now this one is very old i bought her back in 2010 and um oh yes baby is old but she still look amazing she's got the i know right handle right here i don't really use the handle a lot but maybe now i should and um i just love that it's satin it's quite long <laughs> I know right it is quite long but then again these long handbags are coming back in trend if you guys are following Y project you know what I'm talking about to take good care of my babies I think um, I like to care for them make sure you know I am kind of storing them right so nothing is getting damaged my aldo handbags now this one here you probably remember it from everything i ever bought at aldo as well it's got the handle i think this one here is one of the oldest pieces like one of the first pieces i've ever bought from aldo and as you can see she's getting a little discolored and whatnot but i am not sad because i think that gives it a little bit of a character as well so you don't really know if she is supposed to be black or that copper color since i bought this one i've only used it out once and the reason being because it's just a fabric you know a fabric material it doesn't have a lot of structure to it and i love structured bags um so this one here is my vivian westwood clutch that was handmade by women in kenya and um such a great work on them and i think i paid 20 dollars for it if i remember correctly but um i just i love the colors i love the print and um, I love that it was all handmade in Africa. And I wanted to support the women back home. Blue and gold clutch. This one here, I thrifted it at uh, Value Village. It is from ASOS. Cost me under $10. So you can't really go wrong with that. I love her, love the color. She is a little bit soft, but that's okay. You can carry a lot of things in here it's just a perfect clutch for work or even work meetings if you like 
one of those, um, you know, entrepreneurs that is doing your own thing. This will be perfect because you can still fit your notebook or your tablet in here and just the little things that you need. Next up is this baby right here. She is just beautiful. Now, of course, you've seen her on my Facebook back in, I think it was 2014, 2015, because I think that's when I uh, bought her. I found her at Winners, and um, I love the colors. I love the little, um, you know, the little details. So it is just a black leather. And then they had this material with a beautiful stitch. And they're just stitched on top of the black, which gives it a little bit of character. And um, on the inside, right? Talk about details. Now, this right here is just beautiful, nicely done. You've got two side pockets in here, and um, it comes with a crossbody strap as well, but the crossbody is so long that a lot of the times I have to kind of knot it and then hang it on my shoulder. And um, for that reason, I kind of just, you know, I hold it. Um, next up, we've got this beautiful printed handbag here. I think mm, LA Express. I can't remember if it was Sirens or Urban Behavior, but again, that was like way back in the 2000s. I just cannot remember exactly where I found this one, but... I love the print on it, just the different prints and colors. Next up, we've got the heart shape handbag here. Now this one, I think I bought it back in 2015. I don't know if you guys remember that Pashmina store just right across from First Street Station. Um, it closed down now, but um, one day I just, you know, ended up in there looking at some uh, scarves and whatnot and this baby was in there for ten dollars and um, I just knew I had to get her she comes with a crossbody strap of course and um, I just I love the color so cute and on the inside I know right for ten dollars you've got a beautiful rose print lining on the inside it's just so beautiful so cute here i got it from simon's cost me about twenty dollars um but honestly i cannot tell you how much i love this one i have been obsessed with this one for a long time i think the first time i saw it was on pinstress i think it was pinstress or instagram back in 2015 2016 is when i saw this bags kind of just roaming around on every blogger and you know just the fashion people everybody had one and for the longest time i did not know where to find one so last year i decided to really dig deep into this handbag found out it is by a brand called Colt Gaia, I think. And if not, I'll just put it right down here. Um, but again, they go from like $200, something like that. And I was like, no, there is just no way I am going to pay that much for this handbag. Found them also on Amazon. Cause you know, I like to go on Amazon and look for things found them on there but Amazon of course the cheapest one I think was $45 and then um, last year we've got them at Simon's for $120 I was just like no there is no way I'm paying $120 for this thing so I waited end of season came around and I paid $20 for it <laughs> I know I mean it is just so beautiful it is 
very architectural it add a refreshing detail to your outfit and um, it's just a perfect summer handbag a African print handbag here now this one was gifted to me by an ex boyfriend comes with all right a matching heels and a bangle as well um, if you ask me if I ever want like have I ever used them all together I think maybe no never um, it's usually the handbag and the bangle or the shoes and the bangle but I haven't actually used all of them together so I wish I can tell you where it's from but I don't know as it was gifted to me but I definitely love this right here you know I tell you I like to go on Amazon and just look at random things so one night I was just there you know scrolling through things I decided to search for some you know acrylic handbags and whatnot and this one showed up on the list and it was actually about seventeen dollars and um, you know I just I had to order her now the reason being is right just perfect it absolutely reminded me of my childhood you know just growing up and um, using the cassette for music and whatnot and um, I already had this so I knew I had to uh, get this one in as well and um, you know I like to uh, put them together sometimes because it just makes sense when they are sitting together you know <laughs> now Melanie Lynn is one of those stores that I worked at for a couple of months um, transitioning from Hudson's Bay to BCBG Max Azria and um, I bought a lot of accessories from there so a lot of necklaces and earrings and this handbag was one of the pieces that I really loved and um, I just think the colors are beautiful Another one of those weird things that I found on Amazon is going to be this lipstick clutch right here now again just like the cassette I just went on there searching for acrylic things this one pop up and I knew I had to order one um, it comes in white with the red tip as well but I just love the black. I thought the black one looked really classic. This one, I bought it from Winners. Yes, honey. If you need trendy things for really low prices, Winners is the place to go. Now, this one here, I just, I love it so much. Um, a lot of the times, I will take this one out and just use it as is and then you know every once in a while though if I, have, <laughs> if I feel like I have things to take to work and whatnot that I don't want anybody to see then I will um, I use this one here just to uh, carry all my belongings in moving along now this one you've already seen it as well it is it was my uh, 30th birthday gift from my mama, Lorena. Um, but I just love this. Oh, yes. Um, it says, no matter how you feel, get up, dress up, show up, and don't give up. And um, that just could not be any more truer to my, you know latte now this one here is by Betsy Johnson I found this at winners as well I think I showed it I filmed it in one of my Facebook videos the week I bought it I know right love the little stripe details in there I'm gonna leave it to Betsy Johnson to make fun things for you even the zipper it's like a candy there and um, 
says naughty or nice, but not is already checked, so you have no choice. Hashtag baked extra and hashtag thirsty. Of course, we're all thirsty around here these days, apparently. Other handbag right here. Now, this one is from Simon's as well. It's 100% leather, which I really love. I love the design. I think it's very fun. It'll be perfect with my outfit right now as well. And um, that's what it looks like on the inside. Just very simple. It's got a side pocket. You can zip it up, of course. And then um, close that up. Comes with a chain crossbody, but of course, I just, I love the top handle. Black one here. I got this one from Simon's as well. As you know, two years ago, architectural bags were the thing. This, I also thrifted it back in early 2000s. I think it was 2000 and seven maybe or 2008 i can't even remember but this is a very old and i still love it i i just i i cannot give i can't give this one away um that is how much i love this and we've been through so much over the years as well and um i just i can't <laughs> that's why it's still sitting here on my shelf and um, I do use it actually every year at least once or twice from Aldo and it is the cheetah print one I honestly don't have a cheetah print handbag and when I saw this one I just knew I had to buy it I think it was 20 something dollars because it was on sale and then additional 40 off something like that came in black like just plain black with uh, silver studs on it but I was like no I have way too many black handbags and um, so this cheetah print was just the perfect one now this one I got it from Simon's last year and I cannot tell you how much I love it um, now I know this is just a dupe I searched up for the original one it was so expensive that I honestly I can live with this and it looks so close to it that you can't even tell my closet is going to be filled with gifts from Lorena um, but this one here again I just love it I think it's so nice we couldn't figure out if it was supposed to be like a backpack or you know you're supposed to hold it like this but you know I kind of just <laughs> it took a while so I kind of just you know wear it however I want to wear it so every now and then I'll put it on my shoulder like this or um, I just hold it from here and um, you know as you walk and it's got a draw string on here to uh, close it but I love the color and the structure it's just so interesting such a unique bag I actually have never seen anything like this one so thanks Lori the this croc green print handbag now this one here by the time I got it it was ten dollars so you know for ten dollars I kind of just I have to buy it I can't even like no, I just, I can't. I just have to buy it. It is so beautiful. I love the little finish with the tassel. I know. And if you're wondering what can you carry in a bag like this, honey, you can only carry your patience and a little bit of cash. Um, but no. It is actually quite roomy. Now, I for one, in the last couple of years, like I've downsized. <laughs> my wallet has gone to the smallest it can go i don't carry a big wallet anymore you know i carry a card holder like one of those men's card holders um it is enough to carry a little bit of cash for me with four 
46 cards is what I carry with me now. I'm not about that life with so many cards for different stores. I can't. Um, but that is the size of it on the inside. So I can definitely put my card holder in here and put a lipstick and um, a small hand lotion. Just, you know. The necessary things that I need to. Next up is the twins. You know, oh yes, they are two. And I honestly just love these handbags. If you are wondering, those are just the dupes. They're not the real Jacquemus. Honey, the real ones are like $585. And I just, I I haven't convinced myself to pay $600 on that tiny Jacquemus bag yet. So it's going to be a while before I spend that much money on it. Um, but for now, I decided to go on AliExpress, search those up, and um, I decided to order two of them because I wanted to see what they actually look like. And um, to be quite honest with you, the leather feels... It feels nice, um, but of course you can tell it is a little cheap, but it still look fabulous. Now, when it comes to sizes, here's the thing. The Jacquemus is a lot more smaller than this one here. So the like one of the reasons I love this is because I can fit my cart holder in here. I can fit a lipstick. I can fit my perfume. I do have one of those uh, refillable perfume tube, like the small ones. You can buy those at Shoppers. Um, you can put them in here. So you've got your lipstick, your wallet, and um, sometimes, you know, a pack of gum. But these are just a perfect size, you know, to carry few things when you're going out. And it comes with a crossbody strap as well, which is super nice. But um, those are the twins. <sighs> Another one is going to be this purple clutch right here. It is by, I think, a German brand. Yeah, it is a German brand called George, Gina, and Lucy. And um, it is a unisex brand that we carry at Simon's. But if you do go to the store in downtown Calgary here, you'll find them in the men's wear, like in the men's accessories. They're not in the ladies' accessories. So this one here, honestly, I just love it. It's so simple. comes with a crossbody you know it's going to be my white project accordion handbag now just because i say i don't buy into the luxury handbags doesn't mean i can still buy you know for a good price now when i say i'm not gonna invest my money like spend a lot of money on the luxury i mean like you know the chanel's and the gucci those brands that goes for like two thousand, three thousand, even fifteen thousand dollars for a handbag, like why? Um, however, the Y Project one was on sale for ninety nine, and so I just had to buy it. And I love Y Project. Okay, I love Y Project, but I am not paying eight hundred dollars for a handbag. That is just not me i'm not that kind of person unfortunately and um you know it's kind of nice to just find my favorite pieces for a good price oh, this to me is my work hand bag i know you gotta have a classic black handbag for me no i like me a good color and i am so glad i actually bought one of these now this one you know i live in this handbag i bought it years ago 
and um, I always use it as a carry-on whenever I am traveling and um, but it's still like it's still holding its shape still in great condition so I can't really complain and um, I still love it okay so now when it comes to big handbags of course I have these ones right here like the weaved baskets I have a lot of those <laughs> I don't know why but I just love them you know so this one here I got it from Simon's it is of course a beach bag but I mean we don't have a beach in Calgary right so it is going to be my summer bag for when I have things to do or whether it's shopping and whatnot just for like running my errands remember i said in the beginning of the video how much i hate backpacks um you know ever since school i just i never like backpacks i don't know why or what it was about backpacks but i just i am i've never been a backpack kind of girl and um however a couple of um Christmases ago <laughs> my boyfriend decided to go out and buy me this Steve Madden backpack because he thought it would be a great thing to add into my collection and to be quite honest with you he was right now that winter when I got the backpack was one of the best winters I've ever had because I didn't have to worry about my hand freezing from holding my bag or any of that stuff. So I'll just put everything into my backpack, put it on my back, my hands in my pocket, staying warm, you know. And um, so for that, I actually am super happy that he got me a backpack for a gift and I appreciate that because um, it's been super helpful and now I understand why people love backpacks i honestly i really do where did i buy it from oh bought it at a shop in inglewood i can't remember the name but i think they were closing down so everything was like 50 percent off um this one ended up causing costing me about 40 dollars something like that but it is super nice it just gets really heavy when you put things inside it i don't know why but whenever i'll put things in it regardless of how many things it just gets super heavy so it's been a little hard to kind of use this bag out anywhere winners and it was i think 17 yeah, seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents, which is not bad. Um, I don't know what it was, but last summer I was obsessed with those weaved basket bags for some reason, and so I, you know, I bought few. Well, maybe not few. I bought about six. Another basket. However, this one here I actually love. I love the multi colors. And then I also love this handle right here. This one, I think I bought it two years ago. Yeah, almost two years ago. And, um, but she is super cute. I'm just waiting for the nice summer to finally arrive and this whole quarantine thing to be over so I can get back to using my fabulous things again. <gasps> Now this one here is a Ted Baker. I know, right? She is so cute. I love the colors. I bought it again. <laughs> I bought it again from my friend Lorena at Thrift Sanity. You guys check her out. She sells a lot of cool things. And um, I love this handbag to be quite honest with you. Uh, I think it is fabulous. I love the color. You know when she sent me the picture at first, I wasn't expecting it to be this big, but then she delivered it to me at work. Um, I was like, is that the same bag? She's like, yeah, it is the bag. I'm like, but I didn't realize it was that big. She's like, yeah, it is that big. 
um, but no, it is beautiful, and the lining is just amazing, you know, I'm a sucker for good details. Now, inside it, I also have my, uh, you know, crochet handbag here. This one, I thrifted it from Wins, and that's Woman in Need. Uh, I just, I honestly, I love this handbag. It is so much fun. Love the little details. It's just amazing. And um, every time I take her out, people always ask where it's from. And um, now you know. Wins. Last but not least is going to be, I know, the Ghanaian basket straight from Mama Africa. Now this one here was initially a gift to my aunt and um, she decided that she was going to hang it in the kitchen and me and my sister just happened to go there for a visit one day and we saw the bag hanging there and she's like oh that's my shopping bag. I'm like what do you mean shopping bag? This is a nice handbag. I mean if you're not gonna use it I'll take it and she was like sure you can take it you know and um, it is just so nice I love it and um, actually a couple of days ago I was on Facebook market as well just looking through things and whatnot there is a lady there selling this Ghanaian bags from straight from Africa she's selling them here for I think $40 $45 each and um, I contacted her so I'm gonna arrange a pickup or a drop off time with her this week and um, I'll show I'll, I'll share it with you guys when it comes in but it's definitely going to be one of these like one of this one right here I believe in just a different color like very colorful very beautiful very vibrant uh, I might even get two of them because she had I think three different styles in those handbags and I'm just I know I'm I'm excited like things like this just excites me and um, so definitely I will show it to you guys once that handbag gets delivered to me I can't wait but it is just beautiful super amazing and this one is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite summer handbags. I know it looks large and it is large, but I don't care because it is a statement piece and you can never go wrong with that. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment below and let me know which ones were your favorite. And also hit on that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit on the bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. And with that, you have a wonderful day and I will see you on Friday. Bye for now.